RNA world. RNA world was the first genetic material. There is enough evidence to suggest essential life processes like metabolism and translation, etc., evolve around RNA. RNA acts as genetic material and as a catalyst. RNA being a catalyst was reactive and hence unstable. Therefore, DNA has evolved from RNA with chemical modifications that make it more stable. DNA being double-stranded and having complementary strands resists changes by evolving a process of repair. Replication DNA replication takes place by a semi-conservative method. The two strands would separate and act as a template for the synthesis of new complementary strands. After the completion of replication, each DNA would have one parental and one newly synthesized strand. The experimental proof It was first shown in E. coli and subsequently in higher organisms such as plants and human cells. Matthew Maselson and Franklin Stanhill performed the experiment in 1958. They grew E. coli in a medium containing 15 NH4 Cl. 15 N is a heavy isotope of nitrogen. The result was that 15 N was incorporated into newly synthesized DNA, nitrogen containing compounds. This heavy DNA molecule could be distinguished from normal DNA by centrifugation in CSCL density gradient. The cells were transferred into a medium with normal 14 NH4 Cl and took samples at various definite time intervals as the cells multiplied and extracted the DNA that removed as double-stranded helices. The various samples were separated independently on CSCL gradients to measure DNA densities. The DNA that was extracted from the culture of one generation after the transfer from 15N to 14N medium had hybrid or intermediate density. DNA extracted from culture after another generation was composed of equal amounts of this hybrid DNA and of light DNA. Similar experiments involving the use of radioactive thymine to detect distribution of newly synthesized DNA in the chromosome was performed on soya beans by Taylor and colleagues in 1958. The experiments proved that DNA in chromosomes also replicate semi-conservatively. The machinery and the enzymes. The living cells, such as E. coli, the process of replication requires a set of catalysts, enzymes. The main enzyme is DNA polymerase, since it uses DNA template to catalyze the polymerization of deoxynucleotides. These enzymes are very efficient as they have to catalyze polymerization of large number of nucleotides in a short time. Polymers are fast and catalyze the reaction with high degree of accuracy. Any mistake during replication would result into mutations. Deoxybinucleoside, triphosphate, serves dual purposes. It acts as a substrate as well as provides energy for polymerization reaction. The two strands of DNA cannot be separated in its entire length as it requires high energy. It therefore follows that replication must go on simultaneously with unwinding. It cannot wait for the complete unwinding of DNA molecule. The replication occurs 
with a small opening of DNA helix referred to as replication fork. The DNA-dependent DNA polymers catalyze polymerization only in one direction, that is, 5' prime to 3' prime, consequently, on one strand, that is, the template with polarity, 3' prime to 5', prime, the replication is continuous, while on the other, the template with polarity, 5' prime to 3', prime, it is discontinuous. The discontinuously synthesized fragments are joined by the enzyme ligase. There is definite region in E. coli DNA where the replication originates. Such regions are termed as origin of replication. Because of the requirement of origin of replication, a piece of DNA, if needs to propagate during recombinant DNA, Procedures requires a vector. The vectors provide the origin of replication. In eukaryotes, replication of DNA takes place at S phase of cell cycle. The replication of DNA and cell division cycle should be highly coordinated. A failure in cell division after DNA replication results into polyploidy.